And hello there. Welcome to another Money Monday Challenge. I'm Dr. Brenda. I'm a sociologist, financial coach, founder of the Gutsy Women Finances Community, full-time RVer, traveling the country with my three cats. I'm coming at you live today from the woods of Tennessee. I'm here for the week visiting family and hoping to get some more hiking in. Hope you're doing well. All right. Now, June in Gutsy Women Finances Community is all about resilience. So we're gonna start this challenge off really strong. I hope you're into this. So again, this is gonna be an exercise, an activity that you do that's gonna push you further along on your journey to financial freedom, on your mindset, on your resilience muscle. Because resilience is a muscle. You, you, you get stronger the more you use it. I know it's hard to believe sometimes, but it is true. Your challenge, let's go right to it. Here it is. I want you to write down three things you learned from tough times. So think about difficult times you've had in your life. Might be economic, might be health-wise, might be some type of an, another crisis, a, a death in the family. Think about those difficult times and write down three things that you learned from those. So um, I'm going to give you an example from my life because um, one of the most difficult times I ever had was when I was 30 years old. I, I thought I had everything in place. I'd had a, I'd had a, a job. I finished my dissertation, got my PhD, and the economy went bust, at least in the academic world, and I couldn't find a position. I couldn't find a decent job took me three and a half years and five states before I finally landed that break. Now, I was living in this horrid basement um, filled with cockroaches. It was just an awful experience, and I was so depressed. And I, what I started to do to get me out of, out of that reality is I created a little bit of fiction. So I began to write, uh, outline a series of mystery books. And I had this kick-ass character named Kate Winston, and she was like everything that I wasn't at the moment. You know, she was brave and tough and, and uh, in charge of her life, and I felt totally out of control of my life. And I, she was a detective, she was in Atlanta, she was solving crimes, she was, you know, when she got stuck, she, she had some, uh, uh, colleagues who were in the police department and they would help her with with certain um, uh, mysteries and you know so it helped me get away but I'm gonna tell you what my big break was I got a job as a crime analyst for the Atlanta Police Department so you never know what happens there but that was the beginning of an amazing career in justice system reform um, and the fact is, I would not have ever ended up in Atlanta. I would never have ended up in that career path if I had, if the economy had been okay, if I'd gone into that academic world. If things had turned out the way that I wanted them to, I would never have experienced this incredible career in research and social and criminal justice. So. That was, you know, those are the things, the things I learned also were, you know, don't put your eggs in one basket. I'm guilty of that. I didn't have a real solid backup plan. It also taught me to save as much money as I could. And that's partly why I'm out here. I'm not retired yet, but I'm out here in the woods and I'm out here traveling because I can afford to do so. Um, and it, uh, you know, all of those, those, Horror, horrific things. They feel very horrific at the time. You think about what you have done and how it has got you to where you are today. Within each of those situations that I've been in, I mean, I've been, I've had serious health crises. Um, I've uh, uh, lost my, lost my uh, career. My career ended suddenly. Poof, there goes the career. The fact is I needed to end that career when I did. It was burnout, it was high stress, it was toxic environment. And if that had not happened, I wouldn't be experiencing the joy I am today. So your assignment again, guys, you can do this. You got to do this. And the purpose is to think about all the things that you have conquered in the past that you're going to conquer in the future. When you're going through those tough times, write down 
three things you learned from your tough times. Okay, now, you want to keep working on that resilience muscle, go ahead, join me, gutsywomenfinances.com. I'm here for you. Let's get this moving. Hope you guys do well. Let me know in the comments how you did on this challenge. Um, good luck. Bye-bye.